Here's the breaking news. That's right, there's another. Arizona Republican Congressman Trent Franks is now announcing that he will be resigning amid allegations of inappropriate behavior. Let's go to our Capitol Hill correspondent, Casey Hunt, for more details on this. Boy, this came fast. I think I got the roll call alert like about an, uh, 30 minutes ago. 33 minutes ago. Yeah, <laughs> according here we to my are. phone. <laughs> Here we are. So what we know right now, Chuck, uh, not too much. Some of this is still uh, kind of in the swirling discussion uh, phase here. But we can report uh, that Trent Franks, the con Republican congressman from Arizona, is preparing uh, to resign. And there are potentially uh, allegations of inappropriate behavior. At this point, we don't have uh, any details beyond that. Uh, and so I want to be I want to be careful about how we're characterizing this initially. Uh, but he has uh, been quoted in some of these stories as saying they will have a statement at some point uh, later today, Thursday. Uh, so we will see and, and keep an eye on all of that. But of course, were this to be a part uh, of this kind of wave of inappropriate behavior, that would certainly be uh, noteworthy considering Cap Capitol Hill is, is grappling with this uh, in, in a lot of, of different ways here. Trent Franks is a member of the Freedom Caucus. He's from Arizona. He's uh, one of the more conservative uh, members of the conference. He's been here since 2002. At some points, he's contemplated running for the Senate. He thought about it in 2012. Right. So again, we'll see what the details of this uh, turn out to be. Uh, but potentially another member of Congress stepping down. Uh, by the way, uh, I think a lot of folks were expecting, after given what happened yesterday with Senate Democrats and Al Franken, that there would be increased calls among House Republicans for Blake Farenthold to resign. Have there been among Republicans, and where's the speaker on this today? So, Chuck, uh, so far, where I know the speaker to be, and I've been going back and forth with his office on fair and hold uh, over the course of the past week, is they feel as though the Office of Congressional Ethics recommended that uh, the Ethics Committee not do anything with this sexual harassment case and uh, the suggestion uh, that he should return the taxpayer money, as he has pledged to do, uh, is, you know, should essentially make this case uh, closed. Now, the speaker himself, uh, I have tried to ask him a couple times at press conferences this week about it. We have not gotten the chance to do it yet. So right now, you know, he is still a member of Congress, and we are not hearing overwhelming calls for him to step down. Now, there was some reporting today uh, that we've been working on at NBC about the House ethics panel potentially wanting to speak with the accuser, uh, but we don't have that confirmed at this point. It's, it's clearly something that's bubbling here. And, you know, quite frankly, the speaker's been pretty quick about making sure that his house is clean. I mean, they've had some issues this year. Congressman Joe Barton announcing he wouldn't run for re-election. Right. Congressman Tim P Murphy of Pennsylvania. So, I mean, I, I would say that the bar has been, uh, the speaker has set a relatively high bar, uh, but this one I think could turn into something that festers a little bit, just the same way that Franken uh, was, was festering for Democrats. Well, I think the speaker brought it on himself when he called on Conyers to resign, given that it was a similar situation as Farenthold, a settled case, ethics committee had dealt all of the, you, right. what you're describing with Blake Farenthold, you could argue you could have the same description to John Conyers. I think that's right, Chuck. I mean, the cases are, are pretty analogous. And I mean, in the case of Conyers, uh, you know, the money was, was settled from his office. In this case, uh, it was the Office of Compliance, which we have, you know, I had never heard of until all of this had, had started. And I think a lot of women on Capitol Hill hadn't heard of it either. Now, clearly, a lot of reforms focused on that process. Right. So I, I do expect the speaker, as, as you, I think, rightly point out, is going to come under more pressure about this. Absolutely. All right, Casey Hunt. With that uh, breaking news, another day, another member of Congress. Thank you very much. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.